If we press the button, it generates a random number. In this video, I will show you how to make a random generator. Hey everyone, it's Mass Programmer, let's get right into it. So first what I'm going to do is move this to the side, so I can have a bigger screen of view. We're going to go over to Activity Main, and we're just going to use this as our text view. Basically what we're going to use this as is to show the number that is going to be inputted once we click the button for our number generator. The next thing I'm going to do is have a button right here. Some people have problems with their buttons not changing color, but if you do have a problem, I recommend you watch this video. I'll show you how to get through it. It's an easy tutorial in two minutes. Back to the video. I'm just going to center our button right here. And what I'm going to do is go to split so I can make our text view look bigger so we can be able to see the number. I'm going to make the text size become 28 SP. Oh, I clicked the button by mistake. Text view, do this. Maybe the, it needs to be bigger, so I'll put it to 40 SP. That's perfect. And you can put anything you want in the text. I mean the hint, because I'm gonna put a hint. Basically what a hint is, I think it will be better if I show you, hint. You can put anything you want in the hint, it will not alter with the number, it's just to show the users what they should do. I'll show you, I'll put press button to generate number. This seems a bit lengthy, so I'll just put into something concise put press button for number and it should be good just like this now that we got everything here let's go over back to main activity first things first what we're gonna do is initialize the widgets so we're gonna go with text view which is right here text view and then button to button. Great. Now what I'm also going to do is give them an ID. An ID is basically used so Android Studio knows which widget you're going to use. So for this ID, I'll just put screen. You can put anything you want for the ID as long as you can just recognize what you're going to use. Matter of fact, no. Instead of screen, let me use display. I'll put it as display. I figured out what the error was because it was just red. I just forgot to put something, so I'll just do it again so you can see. It's Android ID. I forgot to have the at plus ID. So what I'm just gonna name it is display. This should work great. And for button, I'll just leave the ID at button. Made a mistake right here. Just take this out. And everything should be good now. It says I have an error, let me check that out. Now that we got everything ready, let's head over to main activity. So since we already initialized them right there, we're gonna assign them to the respective IDs. We're gonna put text view equals find view.id r.id dot display. Basically, r.id and whatever you put as the ID. We're going to do the same thing for the button. Dot button. So basically, to get the random generated number, we're going to use the, pro, the function that it already has, which is called random. It's already its own class, so I'm just going to bring it. We started by saying random 
and then I'll give it a name. I'll call it RA just to be easy. Equals new random parentheses with the closing tag. And in this raw is basically the random class in it. Now, to bring this out, what we're first gonna do is have a button dot set on click listener. Basically, in this button, once the user click it, it will generate the random number. So this is what we're gonna do to bring out that random number. First, we're gonna do int, and I'm gonna name it rad equals ra which is the random number that we initialized dot next int and in this basically you can put whatever number you want for example i'm going to put 10 and do not forget to put plus one because i know to my understanding in programming, we count from zero to one. So basically 10 would be nine in programming standards. Because if I'm counting from zero, one, two, count with me on your fingers. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You'll see that all of your 10 fingers, they stop when you count to nine. Or you can just go look it up and see the programming number sequence and you'll see that instead of 10 it's really 9 so that's why I add the plus 1 right here and that will help it be to 10 so you can put and you don't have to put an int you can put a double or a float but I'll just like to use an int but if you're following along I suggest you use an int because I'll show you a way to convert this to a string that can show up to the text view. Next, what we're gonna do is text view dot set text integer dot to string rad. What this is going to do is gonna get the integer rad and it's gonna turn it to a string because text view cannot read integers, it can read strings. So we're gonna turn the number into a string. This is what we're doing. And basically once we do this, the function is done. I'm gonna show you an example on the emulator. I'll go to the, I'll load up the emulator so you don't have to wait. And we are back. If we press the button, it generates a random number. As I continue to click it, it continues, it just keeps going. If you enjoyed this tutorial, check out the other videos I have on my channel and another video I will show you how to use what we just learned to create an app that picks heads or tails. Click the video that pops up to see how. Mass Programmer out.